Today I'm going to demonstrate a program that uses SOAPI SDR to activate both channels on a Blade RFXA5, both receiving channels. And so uh, let's get started here. We'll uh, first load in the uh, FPGA for the Blade RF and uh, for the XA5. This is the, the version that I need to use to load that. And then uh, let's compile the program. So let's compile the program and now we'll run the program. And we'll let it sit here and run for a little while. It's, it's printing out debug information about the various channels that it's receiving and we'll stop it now. And uh, we'll move the it, it created the IQ file for each separate channel. And channel one, one of the channels is hooked to a whip antenna and the other end channel is hooked to an outside antenna. So there will be a, a fairly large difference in the uh, power of the two channels. And so now I'll open them up with uh, SDR GLUT. Okay, so here's the first one. The first channel. And uh, here's the second channel. And you can see that the the amplitude on the second channel is considerably smaller. And so if we go over here to the, um, the weather ch channel, here's the weather channel on one. And so you can see channel one is, is quite strong on the weather channel. And we'll mute that. And we'll go to channel two. And you can just barely hear it. And so there, there's a demonstration. I've got, uh, I, I received on channel one and stored it into an IQ file. And I received on channel two and restored to an IQ file. And so, uh, the program that I used, uh, I'll put out there so that people can look at it. And I also had to use my own version of, of the Blade RF, Soapy Blade RF, because I couldn't get the regular version to work. Maybe you can with your uh, system. 